And before we get started, I'd like to thank everybody for buying a Duramax Life decal. Can't thank you enough for that. Dalton uh, Bertrand 850 actually made me the Truckmaster black chrome decal. And you know what, guys? I love it so much. It blends into the window so well that I decided to go ahead and make some black chrome Duramax Life decals, man. These are beautiful. You guys got to check these out in person, seriously. If you guys are interested in buying one of these decals, I'll go ahead and leave a link in the description. Out of all the batches here, this has got to be my favorite. What is up, everybody? Once again, thank you so much for stopping by. If you guys want to see how to install these leaf springs on your Duramax truck, make sure you stay tuned. Today is super exciting because we're going to go ahead and install the 4 inch Deaver lift springs on the Silverado 2500 HD 6.6 .6 liter. What I love about this kit is it comes with the brackets, the U-bolt brackets that I'll need, the bushings that I'll need, all the hardware. I'm good to go, guys. So there is a reason why I went with Deaver products in particular. It's because I feel like they're the best on the market. If you disagree, leave it in the comments below. There's a few things that come to mind on why I decided to pick this right here. Made in the United States of America. I'm not sitting on blocks, and it's a smoother ride quality. Also, it's not gonna affect towing whatsoever when I put a heavy payload on the back of that truck. So, uh, let's go ahead and get these bad boys on the truck. Once I remove those U-bolts, uh, I'm going to go ahead and remove that jack, lower it down, and this axle will kind of dip down like that is the goal here. That way I can install the new leaf springs. So next what we're going to go ahead and do is remove our U-bolts. gotten to this point right here we're going to go ahead and remove these bolts and nuts that hold the leaf spring in place so that's going to be a 24 millimeter on that end of course you want to secure it with another 24 millimeter on the other side and then on this side right here it's going to be a 21 millimeter so let's go ahead and get these off So just one little note guys, not everybody's got the same exact hitch. What I ended up doing is just removing both bolts on this thing. It's gonna hang a little bit here. That way I can get clearance to extract this bolt out. Just to get that away from the leaf spring. Now one thing to mention before you even attempt this job, make sure you have jacks. Jack stands are so important. I have a jack stand and I have the jack of course and that's a four ton jack so pretty heavy duty stuff right there. You don't want to get hurt during this job right here. That would not be fun. But this is what we got going on here guys. Deaver 4 inch lift spring. This is going to replace the factory or stock leaf springs right here. And these have more leaves in them. And of course, it's going to have that arch for my lifted application right there. People are asking me why you're going 4 inch versus 6 inch. Well, the rear end actually sits higher. So for me to put a 6 inch, the back end will sit even higher. So I'm going to go with a 4 inch. And that's also what was recommended to me. So that's why I'm doing 4 inch. So out with these sketchy blocks and with the new lift spring. So with this kit, it's going to come with some bushings. Just reusing the old hardware, so let's go ahead and get this out. I knew 
should come out one way or another. All right, let's go ahead and uh, install this bad boy on the shocks. On a side note, when you install these springs right here, make sure that you align that alignment pin right exactly there, which you'll see. It only goes on one way, guys. You'll see this little nub right here. That's your alignment pin. It's gonna stack right there. Now I'm just going to go ahead and put my pinch bar in there so it can fall out so I can line up the other side, which is right here. Which should, should be enough, as you guys can tell. I'm going to go ahead and use another jack, just pick this up, line the axle up, drop it down, and then we'll go ahead and bolt everything back down. It is lined up now, but essentially what I ended up doing was I just took a ratchet strap, I brought the axle this way, I brought the leaf spring in, picked it up, lined it up, and then just dropped it down. So, not a bad method if you're doing this on the ground and you're not removing the axle. Guys, so this is where we're at at this point. Everything is installed, I just have to put the wheels on. I think the driver's side was probably the worst part just because you have the fuel tank sitting right here. I was able to drive that bolt out that way, but I had to angle it down and then kind of go like that so I can get the bolt out. I reinstalled it, I just did it in the opposite direction. That way that fuel tank's not in the way in case I have to take these off again, which I hope not. But yeah, everything is, uh, is on the way it should. Basically, you're looking at a 10 leaf spring count versus the six leaf springs. Oh, by the way, if you want your rear end to sit up six inches, there you go. <laughs> but uh, yeah, six leaf count for the old school ones. These are pretty much trash at this point. But yeah, guys, this complements everything very nicely, especially with the posi rear end that Mark at Kodiak Truck built for me. And by the way, I know I say best in the market. And I like to reach out to some of those folks, but got to be the best in the market when it comes to rebuilt rear ends but it's great to know that i have a peace of mind that you know i have the deaver springs i have the kodiak truck rear end I'll also leave a link in the description below but if you guys are interested in doing something like that this is like a bulletproof rear end reach out to the guys at kodiak truck and uh use my coupon code it's truck master so you guys might want to consider that but overall not a bad install kind of lengthy I say the hardest part of this whole job right here was not removing the bed, not removing the rear end, doing everything on the ground. But that's what this channel's designed to do, you know, uh, DIYer guys. If you think about it, it's just me. I have a garage. I have my tools. I have my brain in my hands. That's pretty much it. I'll save a whole bunch of money doing it on my own. And then for a lot of you guys that actually work on your own trucks, or if you have that ambition to actually start working on your own stuff, Hopefully my channel is helpful for some of you guys. So if you guys are ever questioning how to do stuff like this, well, I may have a video for you. But without further ado, let's go ahead and get these wheels on here. In three, two, one. Just like that, guys. It is all put together. All right, so let's go ahead and take it on a little spin. these springs I'm not gonna lie guys I was a little anxious to see how the truck would look as it sits with all the weight sitting on those rear leaf springs and I'll tell you what it looks just like it did with those blocks and it's a lot safer you now I can't stop talking about it guys I mean I got the WC fab traction bars I got the Kodiak truck rebuilt rear end now I have the Deaver lift springs I have Bilstein 5100s in the rear this truck is just getting crazy so anyways guys you let me know good bad or indifferent in the comments i'm really happy about this build right here but again huge shout out to deaver springs they make some awesome stuff so make sure you guys check them out i'm going to run this for probably about a month and then i'll do a video on what i think about the overall ride quality because i know you guys are going to ask me that question as well so make sure you stay tuned for that don't forget to subscribe don't forget to hit the notification bell as this build continues to grow see you on the next video take care